Welcome to D&T Tube's Quick Guide to Metals. Let's get started. There are three types of metals, ferrous, non-ferrous, and alloys. Ferrous metals are metals with iron in them, like cast iron, mild steel, high carbon steel, and stainless steel. 90% of the metal we make is steel, which is used in building construction and throughout industry. Metals without iron are called non-ferrous. These include aluminium, which is commonly used for aircraft, lightweight vehicles and ladders, and copper, which is used within electrical wires and plumbing pipes. Sometimes we need metals that have different properties from aluminium, steel or copper. To do this, metallurgists can mix pure metals such as copper and zinc to create brass, or tin and copper to make pewter. When manufacturers come to sell the finished products, they sell them in stock forms such as sheet, rod, bar, and tube. Now we are going to look at how you can manufacture metals beginning with casting. Casting is when you pour liquid metal into a mold. The molds can be made from sand, as in sand casting, or they can be made using wax, like an in investment casting. As well as casting, you can machine metals using tools such as the metal lathe. The metal lathe allows you to turn metals to face off or flatten materials or bore holes into the surface. The milling machine can be used to create profiles and face off surfaces. Additionally, you can use forging processes such as drop forging, impression die forging, and press forging to create strong parts and components. And finally, let's look at how to join metals together. Designers and manufacturers can use riveting processes, such as pop riveting or traditional rivets, to pull the materials together. They can use soldering techniques, such as brazing, which uses filler material to join components, or weld, using heat from gas or electrical resistance to melt components together. Thank you for watching! Now go to D&T Tube and select Playlists to find out more.